football in your career? What was it like to see like real extended action on the defense side of the ball? Uh, I mean, it was a good opportunity. It was definitely a, a, a good game. Not, not one that I expected to go down the wire like that, but sometimes it goes like that. It's a lot of the situations and stuff that we talked about. Uh, we went out there and we executed, so it was just fun to be a part of that. Lorenzo, what's the challenge when you don't know who the quarterback's going to be and they're very different types of quarterbacks? Yeah, I mean, you just got to plan for a lot of different things. Uh, it just extends that a little bit. So we got to just be very, very conscious in our studying, like who's going to be in there, uh, what are their different like uh, skill sets and things of that nature. Are you guys using different like scout team quarterbacks to give you look for those two guys? Uh, not necessarily, but we, uh, like, there's always getting some work with the scout team quarterbacks anyway. So we get different different Lorenzo, feels. Lorenzo, what's the challenge with trying to identify where Tyler Warren or tight end is at all times? Uh, I mean, he's a good football player, so we got to know where he's at on the field. But uh, we just got to honestly just trust our scheme, trust our defense. I like our players a lot. So uh, when we have that matchup, uh, whoever has that matchup, they just have to go win that. How much do you feel like you can help with that, you know, being a nickel in, in that matchup? Uh, yeah, I mean, I go out there and I cover. So they, they don't really – they put him out a lot. He's not really in there pass blocking a lot. So he's going to be – he's going to be seen out there with the nickels, the safety. So there's going to be a lot of times we're going to have to cover in man. So – when it's uh, our time to cover him, we just got to go do our job. Lorenzo, when you play a lot of snaps, especially like last weekend, do you still think like a receiver at times? Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I get a feel for routes early on. Um, but, yeah, I think just in my training, like understanding the route combination and what they want to run on different down and distances is, uh, it's helped me out. Or is like fitting the run, defending the run against this team, what kind of stands about these running backs that are – Makes it hard to bring uh, yeah, they're big backs. They're both over 220, so they're going to run downhill. Uh, they play with good pad levels, so they're going to put their pads low. So, as a, like a nickel like me, I got to just make sure I run through their outside leg and uh, get them down. What goes through your mind when there are two quarterbacks on the field at the same time? Uh, I mean, nine, they've actually split him out a little bit, so they actually might throw him a little the ball a little bit. But uh, 15, we just got to go. If we have to guard him or whatever our assignment is, we got to go execute it. I mean, that that's a quarterback, so we should make sure we handle that. With how the Oregon game went, how hungry are you guys as a defense to prove yourselves in another top five game? Definitely. Uh, I don't really think it took the Oregon game to wake us up like that, but uh, it was definitely. I mean, it was part of our part of our season, so we got to just go bounce back overall as a defense, as a team, and um, keep use that to ignite a fire in us for sure. One of the leaders of the special teams unit. Where do you feel like you guys are at right now through seven games, and where do you need to be at? Uh, I mean, I think we got to continue to get better. We don't really have any block yet really or we don't really have any touchdowns on special teams so we got to make sure uh we got to be game changers in that in that space i feel like so we got to continue to improve anything else for lorenzo thanks buddy thanks, thanks, lorenzo. Lorenzo.